Hi everybody, welcome to Cracked Lacquer Nail Studio. I'll be doing acrylic and gel designs with 3D and even 4D sculpting and of course bling. I will also be sharing some tips for growing beautiful healthy natural nails and how to deal with nail product allergies. There will be affiliate links for the products I use in the description box below. Please like and subscribe and please hit the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. For this beautiful black and shimmering slate plum ombre nail, I'm going to create April's birthstone, which is the diamond. But the way I'm going to do it is a little bit different. First, I'll do my usual build my structure with the clear on the form. Get that shape going. I took the form off. Um, I'm not going to file at this point. Uh, not yet. Uh, doesn't really seem to need it until later. So right now I'm going to be putting the slight plum down at the free edge. for black. You notice how I just swept that plum upward. I didn't make an edge. I don't want that. I want to have it be very gradual into the plum. And that makes the ombre effect and also called a baby boomer. So that's all done. I'm still not going to file yet. What I'm going to do is add a bubble of the black right where I have it darkened. Uh, I have it wetted down so that I know where exactly I'm placing this. So I'm not going to play with it too much. I want it to cure a little bit. So I have a place to put my little diamond. It's going to be quite high because what I'm going to do is using my brush, I'm going to make a hole that is a um, kind of a marquee shape. So I brightened this up a little bit, um, hoping you can see it better. I'm sorry that you can't really see it, but you'll be able to see it pretty soon, what I'm doing with it. So in that mound of acrylic, I have made a hole just using my brush and made four sides in the shape of a marquee stone. So now I'm going to use this builder gel to put inside of the hole that I made because I want to use the sticky residue to hold the silver thermochrome powder. I just felt like that was a good way to hold it rather than putting that in first and then trying to put gel in there um, and having it swirl around which I don't want to do so after I cure this builder gel I'll have that sticky layer and that's actually how you use the thermochrome powders anyway is with the sticky layer so it works out well I've cured that and now I'm ready for the thermochrome powder I'm gonna push it in and cover every 
spare spot, every black spot I see in there, and I'll twist that sponge tip just to make sure I get it nice and shiny. Ready now for just a drop of the clear coat, um, the top coat. I don't want to swirl it in or anything. Um, again, I'm afraid to ruin the thermochrome powder, so I just dropped it in there and then I'm going to put some chunky silver mirrored looking glitter inside while that top coat is not cured. So there's the glitter. It's all cured and set. So now I'm going to put <clears throat> a kind of a small to medium bead of clear acrylic in. Set it right in there. First I thought there was a bubble and I didn't dare mess with it. Um, so I was just going to leave it, but it turns out there wasn't. So I think the glitter just kind of made it look like that. And I'm going to let that cure for a few minutes. I've shaped the sides of the clear acrylic as best I could with the brush. Um, so once I get to that point, I'm going to file the sides of that to get them as sharp as I can when I file the rest of the nail. So first, it needs a little fixing with some black acrylic just to fill in those gaps, the crevices, it just doesn't look very good. So um, I'll be covering a lot of that thermochrome that's on the outside of the stone also. So most of that will be covered up. The rest of it will be covered up with gems if I don't get it all. And that's okay. My plan is to put gems there, so I wasn't that worried about it. But before I put the clear acrylic on, I am going to fix those dips that you can, I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. Looks like it's ready for me to do the final filing. I'll be right back. Now I can put the top coat on and see what this stone looks like. Uh, didn't turn out so bad. looks better with the gems around it for sure. I was hoping to get a little more sparkle out of it but it's actually it's kind of a nice looking nail anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.